Well, hello everybody, gonna do a little shooting today. Um, got a really neat little rifle I was gonna shoot. This is a Norinco SKS, Main China, 7.62 by 39. This rifle actually belongs to my son-in-law. Um, he left it for me and we're gonna uh, do some shooting with it. Um, very interesting about this rifle. Um, you know, back in the 90s, I remember walking into the gun shops and seeing racks of these rifles for $79. You could buy as many as you wanted. And somebody, somewhere along the lines, told me, oh, them things are a piece of junk. You don't want those. They don't cycle. They don't function. Uh, I believed them and never took a second look at them. So in today's world, this is about a $500 plus dollar rifle. Um, some of the Yugoslavians, the Romanians, they're even higher than that. Um, so as I get older, and I maybe we're all this way a little bit, I get a little bit more interested in history. This, this gun's got a lot of neat history. This is a Russian developed gun. If I got all my history right, this was like in about mid 1945, uh, where the AK-47 come out in 1947. So this was prior to the, to the AK-47. <coughs> oh, probably, oh, this would have been the early 2000s. I had a gunsmith in Idaho tell me, SKS is better rifle than a AK-47. I had no interest at that time in any of them. So, of course, like I say, I'm getting a little older, getting a little bit more interested in history. So, we've shot this gun a little bit, and before I started the video, I shot it on paper just to double check where it's at, and I'll, I'll show you guys the, uh, the group. Hopefully, I can match it, because the gun shoots pretty good. I've read a lot of stuff that these are about three MOA guns with factory sights. Um, I'm shooting about 75 yards today, and uh, hopefully, we can do better than that. So, what's interesting about this gun is, of course, it doesn't have the the uh, you know external magazine so uh, me and my son-in-law got looking at it it's really easy to buy aftermarket magazines that just clip in there almost like an AK magazine so that's been an, a modern improvement you know in the 40s these guys were stuck with this type of configuration it holds 10 um, it's real simple just to load from the top or uh, Jerry Michelek's got a great video on these, way, way better than the video I'm going to do today. Of course, Jerry Michelek's a, you know, uh, he's a, he's a freaking nature. He's such an awesome guy with with guns. And so anyway, we're not even going to go with that. But anyway, the way he loads it is he flips the gun upside down and stacks stacks the rounds in from the bottom. So a couple different ways to do it. So. Uh, what I find interesting about this gun is how simple it is to take apart. I'm not going to do that uh, with YouTube today. Uh, they're so weird about all that stuff. I'm just not going to do it. There's a lot of videos out there. But the dust cover comes off. What's interesting about these is I don't know. It doesn't seem like that they're really readily available for scopes. Um, you know, and the sights are interesting because it's a pretty short sight radius. To where a lot of the sights are on the back of the receiver to give you a little bit longer radius. This guy's up here in the front. The sights are really robust. They've got the, the markings on them, that ladder adjustment so you can raise it up. So yeah, very, very interesting rifle. So anyway, we're gonna do some sheet and lawn paper with it and see what it'll group. The ammo we're shooting today, this stuff, the brand of it is called Hot Shot and it's made in the Ukraine. And uh, I think this, this is really old ammo. This gun was in my son-in-law's family for a long time. Not exactly sure where the ammo came from, but it's uh, the 123 grain full metal jacket. Uh, interesting note on the 7.62 by 39 is that, you know, like my son-in-law, uh, when we first started looking at it, he goes, well, that's a 308 bullet. Um, they call it a 7.62, just like our 308 Winchester, 7.62 by 51. But the bullet diameter on this guy is actually 310. Um, I know that Hornady and a lot of the, the major bullet manufacturers are making a quality bullet for them. But, uh, you know, all these FMJs that are all imported from, from Europe, they're a 310 bullet diameter. So a little bit in interesting on that. Uh, anyway, we're going to take some shots at, the, at uh, 75 yards. We'll see how it'll do on paper. One thing I forgot to point out on this is the unique safety on it. It's pretty big. It just, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that safety just blocks the trigger. And I'm, I mean, in a combat deal, it's not a bad deal because when it's on safe, real easy to get off even with a gloved hand. So really uh, unique compared to what we're used to in today's world with 
cross bolt safeties or tank safeties or whatever that guy just blocks the trigger and uh and comes off that way so that's a very interesting feature about this sks all right let's go up and have a look before we do, it's going to ask you guys to take just a quick second and uh, hit the subscribe and the thumbs up button. Hopefully the algorithm for YouTube will uh, help the, the channel grow a little bit. Uh, we've had some good growth lately. I want to tell everybody thanks for that. But uh, yeah, if you have just a second, please hit that subscribe if you like what we're doing on the channel. So, you know, another interesting thing about this gun is it throws the empty cases forward. I'll show you guys where they're at. So there's some of the empty cases right there. You guys can see there's where the rifle rest is. It's about, you know, 10 or 15 feet forward. That's very interesting. Usually it throws you either up and kind of behind. All right, so we have one, two, three. All right, well, we're gonna take three more shots and see if we can uh, do a little better than that three inch screw. I sure hope we can, we'll give her a whirl. Walk and have a look. Of course, the wind just started howling in about the last 30 seconds. We'll go check out the group. Well, that's about another three, three inch group. You guys see that, all right? We've got one, two, three. Uh, three shots, three inches. That's about what that one is. Not sure how that one turned out so good. All right, well, those groups are about what I expected, so we're just going to have some fun with it and shoot the steel gong down uh, at the 75-yard range. But one thing I was going to mention about this gun that's interesting for me is the gun, the stock is real short. So I'm a bigger guy, so it, it feels short, but the comb is real low compared to the sights. So even as short as it is, it's fairly comfortable for me to shoot. So we'll see if we can hit anything offhand with it. Well, we had a couple hits there and a couple misses, so that's kind of the way my life story is. But anyway, this is a fun little gun. You know, it's too bad the cost of these guys have went through the roof. Like I say, you know, I remember back in the 90s, you could buy these for 79 bucks, a whole pickup load of them. So anyway, we're going to wrap it up for the night. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe.